sweet as the breath of morn, a rising sweet with charm of earliest birds. I've forgotten the author, but if you insist, I've got my library with me. What's wrong, Hunky? Hunky. Rover. Yeah, where is he? He's dead. Oh. Run over by a car. Last night, up there at the junction. I buried him already. Grief is a stone that bears one down. But two bear it lightly. May I come in? Yeah, but cut out that fancy talk. Just smelling your coffee, if you don't mind. Help yourself. Oh, thank you. You know, old man Jean-Jacques Rousseau once said, gratitude is a duty which... Sorry, bad habit, it just comes by itself. Thanks, sir, 47. Wait for 209? All right. Hey, hunky. Look, I found an old English edition of a... Now, Hunky, don't take it so hard. I know how you feel. Uh, you don't know how I feel. A dog, it's like... Uh. I understand. Say, Hunky, I'm going to get you a new dog. Won't cost you a dime. You mean you want to steal one? Dog won't mind. Well, thanks. If I want a dog, I'm going to buy one. Buy one? Yeah, that's one way. You know Joe's diner, don't you? Sure, what about it? Joe's got a new litter of German boxes. Cute little things. Why don't you buy one? Why should I buy one? You just said... Uh, you big mouth. Put that down. It's like a trick. Anybody home? Sure, come right in. I'm sorry I spoiled your Sunday, young man. To tell you the truth, Mr. Horak, at first I was sore, but uh, when the boys told me it was your first Sunday off in a year, it's okay. I don't think I've seen your face before. I'm new around here. The name's Steve Kowalski. Kowalski, Polish? My parents. Say, can I still wear it? It's gotten so tight. You must still be growing. Well, it's good enough. Who's going to look at me anyway? Well, I wouldn't say that. I've seen worse looking guys. Thanks. Sharp as a sponge. Gee, 1245. I better check with the office. Give me the office, will you, please? Hey, Freddie. This is Steve. Yeah, he just got in. Tank stop 47. Uh, 12.46. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's all written down here. Okay, don't worry, I've got it. No, I'll see you, Freddy. Take it slow, kid. bucks for this little nothing? It'll grow. Now, let's talk sense. How much do you want? All right, 15, but quick. We're very busy today. I give you 10. Forget it. Wait, I... Say, you!
Money. That too. But I mean right now. I'm dying to hear it. I'd like to have a big T-bone steak with French fried potatoes, mixed green salad, pie a la mode and a cup of coffee. What, no champagne? I'll settle for beer. How modest. Or a nice slice of roast pork with the... Uh... Not for me. I've got to watch my figure. What for? Never know, I might get a job as a taxi dancer at the Dreamland Ballroom. Oh, don't be silly. A few pennies to be manhandled by every sweating yokel. So what would you suggest in a boom town like this? Oh... I don't know. Don't oh, waste a chance. No less than them sandwiches. How can you tell? See that guy over there? You mean the old walrus? I'm sure he's loaded with dough. Yeah, maybe he is, but he sure doesn't look like he'd part with any of it. Want to bet he pops to that dinner you were just talking about? You mean you're gonna... <laughs> Don't make me laugh. All right, let's settle for a cheeseburger deluxe and a cup of coffee. That I want to see. Baby, sit tight, watch and learn. Hey, Betty, don't be silly. Come back. Sorry. Give me a cheeseburger deluxe and a cup of coffee. Hey, you must have picked the winner. Got a match? I don't smoke. I'm sorry. You're up. Would you pass me the salt, please? Never mind. Sorry to bother you again. Terribly sorry. No harm done. Check, please. Coming. Well, 115 for a cup of coffee and a donut. Oh, aren't you together? It's all on one check. We together, of course not. I'm sorry, mister. Hey, waiter. I'll be right back. Uh, how much was yours? Well, I don't know exactly. Mine can't be more than 15, uh, let's say 20 cents, that is. Don't I know you from somewhere? No, I don't think so. But I've seen you before. Where? With your girlfriend on that, how do you call it? Oh. <laughs> it was quite a show. Didn't you like it? Oh, you mean you think I showed too much of them? I think they're all right. Hey! Aren't you afraid to be carrying such a wad? No, it's not so much. I just came here to buy a puppy. A puppy? Oh, no, what kind of a puppy? A little German boxer. A German boxer. I've never seen German boxer puppies. They must be out of this world. Do you like dogs? Are you kidding? I'm crazy about them. Yeah. Dogs are really wonderful. You're telling me. Do you really care for them so much? I adore them. I think a dog is man's best friend. Want to see the one in the backyard? I'd love to. Come on, let's go. All right. Hey! Yeah. Oh, Gee, I could eat him up. He's so sweet and warm and soft. <laughs> Look at the white spot right under the nose. <laughs> you must be a very nice person. Me? You have such good eyes. Wow. You uh, aren't married, are you? I'm a widow for over two years now. Well, mister, did you make up your mind? No. Let's talk Hello. sense. I give you... If you don't want to pay for it, put down the dog and beat it. Excuse me, lady. How dare you talk to me like that, you... Don't get excited about that sticker. Come on, let's have some fun. I'll show you around. <laughs>
had so much fun in a long time. But you didn't do a thing. You just stood there. Well, it was fun watching you. You were as happy as a child. What's your name? Jan Hora. They call me Hunky. Hunky? Are you Hungarian? No, I'm Czech, but to them it's all the same. So I got used to it in these 30 years here in America. 30 years? And where's your family? No family. Not a soul in the whole world. Isn't that sad? A poor orphan. <laughs> a little too old for an orphan, don't you think? You're not old. You now you have a very nice face. Yeah. Even with all that gray hair? It's just what I like about you. It makes you so distinguished looking. <laughs> distinguished, man. <laughs> you know, you give me confidence. I'm sorry to give you the wrong impression. You men are all alike. Sometimes it's just too much, believe me. Just last week, I lost a good job. The boss made passes at me, and his old woman blew her top, so I quit. And that's what happens all the time. Isn't that a shame? Yeah, it sure is tough for a girl to make a decent living, especially when she has no place to go. And where's your family? Well, after my folks split up, I hit the road, tried to make a go of things of my own. I finally came to live with my sister. She died, so here I am. Nice going, Betty. Ah, shut up. Wasn't that your girlfriend? She's no good. Got a nickel? Huh? Oh, sure. <laughs> Here. Now you'll hear something. It's my favorite number. You know, my... Listen. Isn't it beautiful? It always makes me cry. What's the matter? What's wrong with you? Hey, what's going on? What's wrong? Huh? What happened? Maybe I drink too much. I better go home. Oh, wait a minute. Say, what's the idea? I say no, you'll come anyway, so I do ask. Steve told me you went into town, so I guessed right away. Where is it? What? The puppy. I didn't buy it. Oh, and I brought him some chicken. You had chicken for dinner, huh? Oh, one can't be too choosy nowadays. Huh? Hey, what's that? What? Oh, that's just for fun. Gee, what a dame. Those big eyes. Huh? And you, what a physique. You know, you look much better without your clothes on. How come I never seen that before? It was taken this afternoon. Oh, that's why you forgot to buy the puppy. Well, I don't blame you. Oh, she's a wonderful woman. She, too, is pretty lonesome. She likes good music. And you wouldn't believe it how, how she loves dogs. Well, the years of mourning are over. Forgive him, Anna. I'm just thinking... Shouldn't I go back next Sunday and buy that puppy? Hangover, huh? Gee, this headache is killing me. What did you drink? I mixed everything together. Ah, oh, that's bad. Here, drink this all at once. Pardon me. Hey, look who's coming. Betty, <laughs> I'm so happy I found you. Are you looking for me? Sure, the whole afternoon I just wanted to go back home. Look, there's my car, the gas station. Say, maybe that would do me some good, a ride in an open car in the fresh air. Where do you live? Just a few miles away. Take me for a ride? You mean, oh, I'd be delighted. Let's go. Sleepy? Sort of, do you mind? Just relax. 
I should apologize for last Sunday. I know to run away like this, it wasn't nice, but all of a sudden I felt so... I... Betty, I'm sorry to wake you, but we are here. Hmm? Where? What's on your mind? Nothing. I live here. Here? There. In that shack. Are you kidding? Didn't I tell you that I'm with the railroad? Oh, boy. When does a floor show start? Mr. Horak! Oh, you've got company. He takes my place when I go into town. Uh, uh, won't you come in? Please. I'm sorry you're in such a bad mood. What can I do for you? Can't you open the windows? It's stuffy in here. Oh, sure. Better? What a charming view. How can anyone live here without going nuts? Oh, I like it here. I got used to it. What can I offer you? Got some strong black coffee? That's a very good idea. my late wife, Anna. Oh. Didn't I tell you I was a widower? Did you? Oh, yeah. I'll be right back. you get the best coffee you'll ever drink in your life. You really make me feel ashamed. You're so nice and so patient. I'm such an old grouch. Oh, don't worry about that. Why don't you relax a little? It's not a bad idea. Oh, this feels fine. So quiet and so peaceful, away from all troubles. <laughs> you see? Tell me, is your job interesting? Well, just a pickup station. Trains come and go, dispatches come in, the phone rings. Does it pay? I save some money in all these years, and after I retire, I get my pension. That means security, you know? Yeah, that's quite important. With all those sharks chasing you. The landlady, the grocer, the dentist. I guess you don't know about that. Hey, this room isn't so bad after all. A little paint, a few curtains, some flower pots. You certainly have a good taste, but that, that would cost a lot of money. So what? Money was invented to be spent. What else would you do with it? Well, sometimes I thought of it to get married again. Of course, it's not so easy to find the right woman who would like to live out here. Wouldn't you rather have some fun instead? Especially when you can afford it. Huh. That's not the way I see it. I mean, maybe I'm too old-fashioned. Ah, you take life too seriously. Gee, my stockings are gone again. Gotta get new ones. More expenses. Got a cigarette? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't smoke. Well, excuse me for interrupting, Mr. Horak. I just wanted to say so long and thanks for everything. Hey, wait. Got a cigarette? Here. Yeah. 
Thanks. Are you going back to town by any chance? Yeah. Can you give me a lift? Sure, it'd be a pleasure. But, Betty, I, I wanted to tell you something very important. Another time, Hunky. I forgot. I've got to see somebody about a job. I'll be seeing you. Bye. Bye, Mr. Horrock. Thanks for everything. What shall I do with all this coffee? Are you related to Mr. Horrock? What gives you that idea? Well, is it so impossible? I wish I were. Not bad to have an uncle like him. What were you doing there? You insist a business call. Buying a train? Don't be so smart. Hey, weren't you running around with Skippy Fraser about a year ago? How do you know? I remember your face. Anyway, he told me about you. That phony, he was no good. What did he tell you? All kinds of things. Good or bad? That depends. I liked him. You guys tell each other everything, eh? You girls don't? What's the idea? Oh, it's that windshield. I can hardly see through it. Ah, oh, just what I need. May I? Sure. Where do you live? Never mind, just drop me at any corner in town. Oh, then I can get lost, huh? Well, maybe we can have a couple of drinks. Well, that's just the trouble. Why? Well, my sister and her husband are furnishing their new apartment. I live with them. Last week, I had to give them my check. Never fails. Young, handsome, broke. Yeah, what's going on? I've been sitting here for two hours waiting for you. No, it's no use. We're out, but good. You're kidding. No, you should have heard that old Spencer woman screaming her head off. And she's right. You haven't paid her a buck for three months. That old bag, I'll show her. She can't throw us out in the street like this. That's against the law, and I'll go to the police right away. Yeah, well, you better watch out. She said if by tomorrow you don't bring back that silver and linen you hocked. She said she's going to have you locked up. You know what that means. Wait, can I get 75 bucks by then? Well, I guess I'll go back to the basement of Rainier's Delicatessen. What about you? I'm fed up. I'm sick and tired of everything. I've had enough. Well, what are you going to do? I think I know what I'm going to do. Yeah, that's it. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Forgive him, Anna. <laughs> what are you doing here? I was so high last night that I couldn't find the key to my apartment, so I stayed here. <laughs> Wasn't it fun? <laughs> you, you should get married more often, Uncle. <laughs> are you happy? Oh, 
She's a wonderful girl, my Betty. You know, today I let her sleep. But from now on, after the morning train, Betty will bring me my coffee. I'll listen to the radio, relax. Oh, what a life. What a life. What is it? Darling, your breakfast is ready. What time is it? 12.36 p.m. Already? Say, can't you do something about that dawn alarm clock? Every morning at 5, it makes me jump. Oh, I can't stop the trains. Now give me those smart answers. Well, I didn't mean anything bad. Oh, boy. Another one of those exciting days. Bacon and eggs again. You said you liked it. I said a lot of things. Did Irma call? No, not yet. It's a car fixed. I can't do it myself. Something wrong with the carburetor. So it sits out there, and I sit in here and look at the track. <laughs> Great life. Well, what can I do? I thought you could retire soon. We'd move into town, meet friends, have a little fun, go to the movies. Well, look, darling. In six years, I retire, I get my pension, so then we move into town. I, I buy the nicest house. Six years. Great. Well, why don't you read a little? The professor brought you some books. His books. It rhymes, but it doesn't make any sense. And that fool stealing books from a public library. Yeah, but he reads them. He doesn't sell them. That's what I say. He's a fool. I like him. I don't. Oh, well, I'm afraid I've got to go. Where? Truck inspection. Say, why don't you come with me? It's such a nice walk, a little fresh air. Come, be a sport. Put on something and come with me. Outside. Don't be too long. Ah, Professor. Why didn't you come in? Enjoying the sunshine, the singing birds, and the words of great masters. Besides, I'm not wanted anymore. Your lady isn't too fond of me. You must understand her. She, she wants me all for herself. Sure. How's it going? It's all right. She'll get used to it. Used to what? She has a good husband, a nice home, a car, no worries about tomorrow. What else does she want? You know what I think? It's... A... Really a beautiful day. Mm -hmm. uh, come, let's go. I I've got to be back in time. You see? There's the bridge. Why the devil isn't there any fence? What for? Nobody ever comes here except me. How do you like it here, huh? The air clean, the wind singing. Ian, why do you have to wait six more years before you can retire? Can't you make up some story? What do you mean? I don't get you. I mean, I don't know, rheumatism, heart trouble or something. You mean... To lie? Pretend? Oh, no, you can't fool them. <laughs> to get away from these tracks would be the happiest moment in my life. But, Betty, that's a crazy idea. How, how can you ask me to do such a thing? Honky, can't you do it for my sake? Betty, don't be silly. Let's go. Betty, don't walk too fast. I'll catch up with you. 
Where's Hunky? Betty! 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 What's the matter with him? What happened? I don't know. He looks like he's out of his mind. I can't hear. What did he say? He says he can't hear. Yeah, and what happened? Say something. Can't you hear me at all? I can't hear a thing. But Betty, for heaven's sake, help me. What, what shall I do? I, I lost my... I can't believe it so suddenly. Wait, don't upset him anymore. We must do something. But what? What'll we do? Don't lose your head. Uh, phone the company. Tell him what... What happened? Don't go in. The doctor's in there. Is it very bad? He lost his hearing. Stone deaf. Yeah, so they told me. Gosh, I saw him only a few weeks ago. He was in good shape then. Where the devil is that? Oh, it's you. Yeah, it's me. Good evening. What took you so long? Well, I had to pick up some stuff, and you can't go so fast on a bike. Where's your car? Gone. Well, you know, the old sickness. I hope you won't mind sleeping in the tool shed just for a few days. It's all right. Take your time. I put a mattress in there. Wait, and I'll get you a blanket and a pillow. What's she doing here? She's his wife. Didn't you know? Ain't that one for the book. Audiometric readings show no perception on any of the vibratory frequencies. Apparent complete deafness. It's hard to say something definite, but in the absence of evidence of brain tumor, infectious process of poisoning, I'd be inclined to think of deafness on a psychosomatic basis. Possibly narcohypnosis or shock therapy. It's hard to say. Come with me.
The alarm is set for five. Yeah, I know. I've got the schedule in my pocket. In the morning, you can come in and make your own breakfast, but don't be too noisy. What's the difference? He won't hear me anyhow. But I want to sleep. Oh. My husband feels better in a few days. He'll go into town and arrange things with the company. What did the doctor say? Who can understand them? Marriage seems to agree with you. You're even prettier than before. Cut it out. Sorry. Good night, Mrs. Horak. Okay, darling. Ah, uh, and thanks for calling. Bye. Oh, Mrs. Horak. I told Mr. Keller if Yan feels better, he'll go into town and see him tomorrow. I think he looks better. You know, I didn't want Betty to come with me. She needs rest, poor girl. I think she'll be happy to get away from these tracks. Well, maybe it was God's will. Huh? Oh, you can get out at the library. Don't worry about me, I can drive myself. It's not far from there. Thanks for fixing the car. Oh, forget it. Your husband looked much better this morning. He's getting used to it. It'll certainly change your life, won't it? Quite a bit. I'll be glad to get away from here. I don't blame you. You know, life's funny. Where'd you read that? Well, what I mean is, uh, remember the day I drove you into town? Three bucks in my pocket would have made all the difference in the world. Maybe. You know, Betty, it took me a long while to get you out of my mind. Really? Yeah, but all I knew was your first name. No address, nothing. What could I do? You didn't kill yourself. I couldn't afford a funeral. Don't anybody touch him. How do you feel? Are you hurt? A miracle. Can't you hear me? Say it again. Are you all right? Can't you hear me? I, I'm all right. I, I can hear you. I'm all right. Please let me go. Don't you want to take my license no, number? No, just let me go.
I thought you could retire soon. We'd move into town, have a little house, meet friends, have some fun. To get away from these tracks would be the happiest moment in my life. Can't you make up some story? Hunky, for my sake. You mean to lie? Pretend? you wanted me to do, but nobody else must know. Do... Are you back already? Bank stop 47. Yeah. Yeah, 503 is clear. Oh, sure, okay. Well, you look good. You got back quick. Well... Oh, gee, I just closed my eyes for a second and slept like a log. Didn't even hear him come in. Yeah? Gosh, I'm hungry. We can eat right away. I think the soup is still hot. Well, how do you feel? How did it go? Huh? Oh, here. Look. Oh, I see. What is it? It's the usual procedure. Is he going to get his pension? Sure, he's entitled to it. But it'll take time. Maybe four or five weeks. You mean we have to stay here that long? Don't be so selfish. Look at the wonderful family life I've had with you. It's good, huh? The soup. Good? Uh, she's a wonderful cook. <laughs> it's gonna get rough when you're getting used to this kind of conversation. It won't be for long. What do you mean? You don't think I'm going to stay with him. I don't get you. I married a healthy man and now he's a cripple. What's on your mind? I don't know yet. But I'm certainly not going to be the sucker around here. Take it easy. Some more soup? Some more soup! Look, kid, don't tell me what to do. Did you expect me to play nursemaid for the rest of his life? Abalone! The minute I get some dough out of him, I'm gonna beat it, but fast. Why did you ever marry him? I was in a jam and I needed an out. Anybody was good enough. You mean they wouldn't give me a divorce because of a sickness? Nobody can chain you, but you probably wouldn't get a dime. Don't tell me. I know how to handle them. I'll chop them up, but good. Say, my sister used to run around with a smart lawyer. You know all the angles. Maybe I should speak to him. Yeah, that might be good. I could run in tomorrow if I could borrow your car. I've got to pick up some things anyhow. Would you really do it, Steve, for me? I'd do a lot more for you, Betty. Mm, are you crazy? Don't do that. He isn't blind. He's only deaf.
Look at him, that old spider, how he stares at me. It makes me sick. What does he want? Tell him to stop gaping at me or I'll toss this drink in his face. Stop that. Maybe he can read your lips. How could he? <laughs> Why don't you get lost, you old buzzard? <laughs> Look, he likes it. Ain't that a scream? You know what I'd like to do? I'd like to slap your fat kisser right and left, you old monkey. <laughs> you billy goat. <laughs> <laughs> You sucker, I married your bank account, but the trouble is I can't get to it. Ain't that a joke? <laughs> it's a lot of fun, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Talk to the lawyer? Yeah, I was right. There's nothing you can do about a divorce. Well, that kills that. What do you say about the money? Well, the only way you can get at the money is if you have a giant account. What's that? Well, here's what the lawyer gave me. This has to be filled out and signed by both of you, right in the bank. Signed by both. He'll never do that. Why don't you ask him? He might. No, he won't. The sickness is getting him down. I used to whistle and he jumped. Now he's different. He mopes and he's stubborn. If I could get a better job and make more money, I'd take you away from here. You really would? Like a flash. What about that Catherine who's always calling you? Oh, she's just for laughs. Maybe I'd be just for laughs, too. Sure, that's why I had the jalopy going 60 miles an hour getting back here. Just for laughs. What a fiction. Betty, wait. I brought you something, a little present. That's cute. Yeah, my sister had three of them, so I took one for you. Hey, let me do that. So you stole for me. Taking something from your sister? That's not stealing. But I think I could steal for you, baby. Let's face it, I'm nuts about you. What kind of a character are you, anyway? Maybe no character at all. But I know what I want. Gee, I forgot to report that I'm back. Hello? Mr. Taylor? Yeah, I'm back. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I'll hold it. What's the matter with him lying there like a corpse? That's what I mean. Stares in a space, doesn't eat, doesn't talk. Okay, I'll wait. And that's supposed to be my life. <laughs> Until death do us part. Oh, yeah, there was a, another thing the lawyer said. In case the husband dies, all the money goes automatically to the widow. Even without a signature? Yeah, I'm still waiting. That's what he said. He's mean enough to live to be a hundred. Stars are out. Ought to be a beautiful day tomorrow. Hey, what's this? Oh, I forgot it's for you, that girl of yours. Again? Hello, Catherine. Look, you gotta stop calling me on this line. It's a company line. I don't know when. I tell you, I don't know. I gotta hang up now. Goodbye. Uh-uh. No, no. I can't sign this. There's no reason for it. But I told you, the house! I won't sign anything, and that's final. That dirty old miser, I knew it. Hold your temper. You can try it again. How about a game of gin rummy, huh? That's just what I need. You want to play a little cards? Little cards? Come on, we'll cheer you up. 
Why are you always so worried about them? Well, I don't know. I kind of feel sorry for the old geezer. Ideal, huh? You look beautiful tonight. So glad you like me. I like everything about you, Betty. You know that. You throw first. Throw. Uh -huh. Don't worry, baby. Everything will come out all right. You'll see. All by itself, what do you know? I didn't want to tell you because you kind of feel sorry for him. But last night, he wanted to beat me. Such a bad luck. I, I always throw away the wrong card. You know, this might sound silly, but I... I can't get over the feeling. You can hear. Yeah, crazy. Maybe so, but I... I can't get rid of the feeling. a good card. There. You could kill me and he'd just sit there. I can't play. Uh, I'm too tired. Don't forget tomorrow truck inspection. I won't. I better go with you the first time. Huh? You have a pleasant trip ahead. Nothing but tracks, more tracks, switches, telegraph posts. And then comes the bridge. So he wanted to beat you. If he lays a finger on you, I'll... Get out. I said, get out. Beat it! The old man's getting jealous. Steve, maybe you'd better go. If he gives you any trouble, you let me know.
study. <laughs> what happened? What did he do to you? He beat me. Why, that dirty old... No, don't. He's asleep now. Steve, help me. Do something. I will, baby, I will. Just give me time. Oh, you poor little girl. You're shaking. Oh, I've been longing to hold you in my arms. Daddy, what is it? I'll kill him. Steve! There's a way. Tomorrow on track inspection, there's a bridge. Near to the warning sign, there's a slope with no fence. It's so easy to slip and fall. It's 200 feet near a rocks. Just an accident. Not a living soul around. No. Please, just hold me. I'd better go before he wakes up. Heavens knows what he'd do to me. Steve, I'm so scared. I love you. Hi, how do you feel, hunky? Fine, fine. Oh, you're getting to read lips. Good. I sure need a pair of new shoes. I'll get you some. Hunky. You can hear. Do you remember when we went into town together the last time? After you left me, a car knocked me down. I had a shock, and then a miracle happened. I could hear again. Hunky, I can't believe it. Yeah, but then I made a bad mistake. For her sake, I decided to remain deaf. Gee, you put it over on me. I sure believed you. You don't know what I'm going through, Professor. You must help me. Hunky, you know you can trust me. I do. Now listen. I wrote a letter to Mr. Keller. That's the general manager. I told him the truth. Oh, he's a great guy with a lot of human understanding. He'll help me. He'll tell me what to do. And then I'll sweep the dirt out of my house. But, Hunky, you don't have to tell anybody the truth. Just pretend that all of a sudden you can hear again. No, no, no. I want the truth. No tricks anymore. It doesn't pay. Just do what I say. Be here at four. You give him the letter. And wait for his answer. Understand? And now, stay here. I'll get you a pair of nice shoes. Almost new. Son's tricky. You better watch it. Your sister called me this morning. My sister? What did she want? Catherine's on her neck crying for you, making all kinds of scenes. Ah, why doesn't she leave me alone? I told her it was no use. Well, it's none of my business. Oh, yes, it is your business, and very much so. Where's Yan? Who cares? I guess it's about time to go. Skin is like velvet. You sure drive a guy crazy. Steve. I know, Betty. About last night. You didn't mean what you said. You were, you were nervous and upset. I meant every word of it. I can't believe it. I'm desperate. I want to get out. Without money, what can I do? I tried everything. He's got $7,300 in the bank. We could go any place away from here and be happy together. By just pushing him over a cliff, we'd never get away with it. You'd come running back, excited, crying for help, as long as nobody sees you. No. I couldn't do it. I'm no killer. 
Steve. Just one second would change everything. We'd be together. We'd be free. I was looking for you. It's time to go. See? Some years ago, a guy was murdered here. Pushed down. For a few bucks. Nothing. I just came to see my friend, Hunky. They aren't back yet. All right, I'll wait. Why are you always snooping around here? Me? Yes, you! Peeping through windows, spying, sticking your nose and everything. Why, Mrs. Horrick, I just came to make a social call. Stop your stupid jokes and beat it! You certainly are nervous today, madam, but you won't mind if I wait outside. <laughs> Nice walk. Good for the lungs. No, what? I told you I couldn't do it. Everything would be over by now. For a second, I thought of it, and then he looked at me. I couldn't do it. Now we're right back with nothing. One minute of guts, and you didn't have it. If you could have seen his eyes, like an old dog. Don't you understand? Shut up. I'm through with you.
Freddie, give me a line, please. Orbit 2351. Irma, I was afraid you'd be out. Listen, I've got to get out of here. I'm up to my ears. Can you pick me up? Fine, bring him along. Let's have some fun. I'll put on my best dress. I'll be beautiful. So long. Don't keep me waiting. out of my way. I don't even hear you. Betty, I'm warning you. You're not going what said to me. <laughs> Grow up. Betty. Betty what? All of a sudden you're so tough, but when you had a chance to prove it, let me go. You turn my stomach. You're going to be sorry for that. Here, have one. It's good for any kind of trouble. Ah! Take it. There's some more. It won't harm you. You're a big boy. Here. I'll take one too. I sure need it. <laughs> Better? Why do they have to send me here? All the guys. Why me? I know you can hear. I can feel it. What's your game? What are you trying to do? It's almost five. The train will be here any minute. Come, 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 come. Sober up. Wash your face and get ready. Come. Leave me alone. What are 
you trying to do? Ruin your life? For her? She isn't worth it. Never mind, I'll take it. So? Thanks, now, 47. Can't you call back later? Oh. Poor girl. Is it serious? Mm-hmm. Wait, I'll tell him. It's your sister. I knew it. I knew it all the time that you got here. Are you dirty old boys? Rat hole. Sick and tired. Why'd I ever come here? Kill each other! Let me throw! Where's that girl? She's not for you. Talk to your sister. It's very urgent. Here. Talking? Miss Catherine, she tried to kill herself because of me. I know. She'll be all right, and you too. Doing your house cleaning, I see. Oh, show me. What happened to our Romeo? Leave you alone. What does it say? Oh, well, it's not too friendly, but here it says, best regards yours. So I hope it will. Say, what's that? I told you I'd bring you a new one. Didn't cost a dime. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's what I should have brought home in the first place.